My name is Judith Ann. My maiden name is Bryant. My dad was Reverend Howard Merle Bryant, Sr. My mother was Geraldine Bryant. We lived in Tupelo, Mississippi when I was little. Daddy went to the Pentecostal Bible Institute in Tupelo, Mississippi. Brother C.D. Soper was the president and the pastor of the church. <sighs> Daddy was going to the Bible Institute and he was in college. After he'd gotten out of the Navy, he went to four years of college there and he graduated a doctor of psychology and a bachelor of theology. He had the two degrees, but while he was in Bible college, um, my brother and I came down with polio. This was in 1951. I was paralyzed from my lungs down. Uh, they were going to put me in an iron lung because uh, I couldn't breathe. And uh, I was paralyzed that I couldn't walk. My brother, one side of my brother Merle, one side of his body from his head all the way down to his feet was paralyzed on one side. I would forget if it was the right or the left. But I remember he slept with his eye open. He couldn't talk on that side of his mouth. He, he couldn't use that arm or his leg, but I was paralyzed from under my lungs down. They said from my waist down, but it was going up into my lungs. Um, they were going to put us in isolation uh, we were in the polio hospital in Vicksburg, Mississippi. When we came down with polio, they thought it was a flu virus at first, but they called the ambulance when they rushed us to the hospital. Then they, they said it was polio, the polio virus, so they took us to the polio hospital. And, uh, I'm not sure how many days it was while they were switching us around like that, but I do know that we were in the polio hospital for five days before the Lord healed us. And uh, we stayed in there seven days because they kept us two days for observation after the Lord healed us. But it was a Catholic hospital, and uh, the priest and the nuns prayed with us and uh, they all witnessed the miracle. And all of the people at the Pentecostal Bible Institute witnessed the miracle. And we were just walking, talking miracles. I remember being paralyzed. I remember the pain. I remember uh, not being able to feel when they would check for our reflexes, but I could feel that deep pain inside. I remember... Uh, the first time I tried to get up when, when I had it was I fell in the floor at the house. Our temperature was really high, and uh, Aunt Grace and Uncle Robert had been babysitting us because Vonda had swallowed a quarter and Mother and Daddy had taken her to the hospital. So when they came back, we were very ill. And, you know, I'm getting my story all together here. But we definitely had polio. We definitely had a miracle. Um, within the five days that Merle and I were in the hospital, it was terrible. It was, uh, the pain was terrible. And they would, they would wrap us. I remember them wrapping us in that old sulfur, those sulfur blankets, those wool blankets, and dipping us down in that sulfur water. And it, oh, it smelled terrible. And I remember throwing up every time I'd smell it. But it felt so good when we were in that, that uh, the, the smell was so bad, but it felt so good. Uh, it would ease the pain when they would put us down in that. And I wanted to stay in that water. But anyway, we'd been 
in there. I remember Daddy rubbing our legs, and I remember that uh, Mother had to go home with Vonda, and uh, they would pray, and uh, then she'd come back and switch off with Daddy, and he'd go home. And I remember Brother and Sister Soap were coming up there and praying and talking, and I remember pulling up to the side of the bed, and we would sing, only believe, only believe, all things are possible. And Merle would say, only be dee, only be dee, all tang or pati be, only be dee. I remember singing all our Sunday school songs for them, for the nuns. And they liked to come in there with us because they said we had such happy attitudes they couldn't believe. And, and I kept telling them that Jesus was going to heal us. That Brother Soper said Jesus was our healer and that Daddy said Jesus was our healer. And I preached to them when I was a little girl. I preached when I was a little girl. Merle did too. He, he could only use one side of his mouth, but that little fellow preached to him. He said, Dee's gonna heal, heal us. Dee's gonna heal us. And um, I remember that. And um, I'm not sure exactly what happened on the morning that we were healed. But I remember we woke up and we weren't hurting. And we just, I checked Merle and he checked me and we crawled out of that baby bed that we were in. And we were playing with the instruments, the doctor's instruments, the sutures and all those things in the floor. And we were having fun when the nurses came in and they were all yelling, there's been a miracle, there's been a miracle, and everybody was in there. We had a miracle. If it wasn't for the miracle working power of God, I would not be walking today. I would not be breathing today. They were going to put me in an iron lung. You listen to me. I wouldn't be talking today because I couldn't even breathe enough hardly to get my voice out. It would come out in a whisper when I sang. I want you to know that the healing power of God is is real. And he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his healing power has kept me alive all of these years. 1951 to 2020. It's going to be 2020. And I'm still walking. Sure, I have aches and pains. Sure, I have a little arthritis. But I'm walking. I don't use crutches. There have been times when I thought I was going to have to, but I never did. They've, they've even threatened to have to uh, replace my kneecaps. But every time they've said that, I've done exercises and taken good vitamins, and the Lord's just restored my knees back to normal. I don't even limp. I want you to know that the miracle working power of God is real. I want you to know that I am a miracle. They said I would never have children. I have two children. And let me tell you, they both have two children apiece. And Julie's children have children. Jason's are too small to have children. But Julie's, my daughter's children, have children. My one grandson has See, he's got uh, Riley, Bailey, Charlie, Wesley, and I, I keep, I think his name's Grady. I'm not sure. Anyway, and then they've got Austin. So they've got six. And Jonathan has Creed and Haley. That's eight great-grandchildren I have four grandchildren and two children. That is a miracle in itself. God restored my life and he gave me the ability to have my two children, not cesarean, but natural birth. Of course, I did have a spinal with Julie, but I did have my children in a regular manner with labor. Yes, labor. It was real. 
and I've got four grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. Think about that. I am not just a miracle. Now, I'm not speaking for my brother. He's got things and good things through his life that have come forth from his miracle. But I'm speaking of my miracle. Every child that I had was a miracle. Every grandchild that I have is a miracle. And every great-grandchild child that I have is a miracle. I want you to think about that. I am a miracle. And because I am a miracle of God, my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren are miracles of God. So if you doubt that, it's your problem. I don't doubt it because I know I lived through it. I remember I remember when the Lord healed me, and I remember when I was crippled. I remember when I was in so much pain, laying in that room, in that hospital room, smelling that burnt hair where the little boy that had his, part of his head was paralyzed, he'd lay his head on that heater and his hair would scorch. I remember those smells in the hospital. I remember all the little nurses were nuns and they came in there loving on us and praying with us and I remember one of them saying well you know I've never seen a miracle but I do believe in miracles and when we had our miracle it went on record it was in the newspaper everybody knew and everybody at PBI Pentecostal Bible Institute knew this was a testimony all through Tupelo, Mississippi, and through every place. And after we were healed, Mother and Daddy would take Merle and Vonda and I, and Gail when she was born, to sing for people at hospitals. And people would get healed. In fact, so many people got healed at the tuberculosis ward when we went to pray and sing. We sang on the lawn. We didn't go in. So many people got healed that the the uh, head doctor of that hospital asked us not to come back because he was losing all his business. That's how great the miracle work and power of God is. And always the devil fights you when you're trying to give your testimony. But I'm telling you, on this video right now, if I die tomorrow, I'm still a miracle. And I want you to know that. 